Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Trail Pass. So this is our Subaru Outback Wilderness and we're at 3,000 miles already. So it's time for the break-in oil change and that's what we're gonna go over today. So uh, a couple things here in the engine bay. These Subaru Boxer engines are very, very serviceable. You have your oil filter right on top as well as your oil fill and the drain plug is obviously on the bottom. So for this oil change, you'll need a 17 millimeter uh, wrench or socket. You're also gonna need 4.8 quarts of the oil of your choice. I use Mobile One and everything I own and I've had very good results out of that. And you'll need a new filter. So there is the Mobile One filter if you decide to go with that. Or right over here is the Subaru filter number if that's what you decide to go with. So moving here underneath the vehicle, you can see right there in the center is your oil pan and off to the side right there is your 17 millimeter oil drain plug. So we'll go ahead and loosen that up, drain the oil out, and then we're back on to the top side. So now we'll move on to the engine oil filter. So again, right here, just need to unscrew that. Might actually require a wrench, let's see here. Well, with all the hands, it's gonna require a wrench. Let's go get that. Oh yeah, that's all we needed. Now with that filter being upside down, there's very, very little mess. You can see it didn't even fill up that entire plate. So we'll go ahead and wipe that up with a rag and install our new filter. And on our new filter, we went ahead and ran some oil around the gasket there just to make a good seal. We'll go ahead and spin that on. And honestly, no more than hand tight. That should be fine. So now we'll go ahead and get the engine fill plug out of the way. So take that off and you can see right there on the cap, fill with OW20. We'll set that aside. And it is a good idea to loosen that before you let any oil out of the engine just so you know you can get fresh oil back in once you drain all the old oil back out. Go ahead and put our big funnel there in and we'll start filling it and we'll check the dipstick periodically. So now that everything's topped off, get that funnel out of the way, reinstall the cap, So I went ahead here and fired up the vehicle in accessory mode. And you can see we have 2,993 miles. And again, all those warning lights are just because it's in accessory mode. But we go over here into the screen. And here in the Outback Wilderness, the screen controls pretty much everything, as I'm sure you've learned if you have one of these vehicles of your own. But we'll go ahead and click Car Info. And then you have all sorts of different things that come up. But we'll go ahead here into Maintenance. And this is where you start resetting things. So uh, we have 3,008 miles left because we have 2,993 miles. I guess the dealer set it to 6,000 miles after they got it off the truck. So to reset this, we'll go ahead and hit the gear right here and then we can change it. So say we wanna remind ourselves to change the oil in another 3,000 miles. We'll go ahead and put 3,000 right here, hit set. And then it'll remind us the date that was already in here from the dealer is February 10th of next year. So it'll remind us on whichever happens first, whether that's February 10th or the 3,000 miles. Go ahead and hit exit. And you can see it right there it is. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the oil filter. We'll leave it on that date, but we'll change the mileage to 3,000. Set, exit. And you can see it updates it right there. So. Subaru recommends the oil changes at every 6,000 after you get past it. So if you wanna go ahead and change it to that, it's actually a shortcut to do that. You can just hit update right here and it'll take away the date. You can put that in later, but it does put it at 6,000 miles Then we can hit exit and it takes you right there. So whether you wanna put in a custom time, whether that's the date or the mileage, or you wanna go off of Subaru's recommendations, all of that is very easy to do right here. So that's a look at how to do your first oil change or any of the subsequent oil changes on a Subaru Outback Wilderness. My wife and I have really been enjoying driving this car over the past 3,000 miles. 
but obviously there's still a lot of ownership experience left to go and we plan on sharing every bit of that with you guys so if it is your first time stopping by the channel i really appreciate if you drop us a comment hit like and consider subscribing uh, we definitely have a lot more subaru outback content on the way and other off-road content as well uh, we're just very passionate about the outdoors very passionate about off-road vehicles and i hope that shows here on the channel and i hope this does help you out so let us know if it did help you out down there in the comment section uh, let us know what kind of vehicle you have and if you do your own maintenance i think if you do enjoy doing your own maintenance this is a great vehicle to do it on or if you're just learning and want to experience that for the first time the subaru outback is a very easy vehicle to learn on as well so thank you all very much for watching again really hope this helped you out and we'll catch you in the next video